Good evening, my fellow exorcists, and welcome to Lair of the Film Exorcist. Tonight, we will be taking a look at Mortal Kombat. Hunted by the fearsome warrior Sub-Zero, MMA fighter Cole Young finds sanctuary at the Temple of Lord Raiden. Training with experienced fighters Liu Kang, Kung Lao, and the rogue mercenary Kano, Cole prepares to stand with Earth's greatest champions to take on the enemies of Outworld in a high-stakes battle for the universe. Now, before we move on to my opinion, I'd like to just announce that this video is sponsored by Animal. So go buy yourself some amazing low-priced anime merch, including cute figurines to brighten up your collection, and every time you use the code FILM, you'll get 5% off your purchases, or I will perform a fatality on you. That movie was f Now, let me say, that movie was fucking awesome. To be honest, I didn't start getting into Mortal Kombat until... MK10, but damn, now I wish I had, because if the games are as good as this movie, I would have come I would have committed to so many fatalities by now. So the story follows newcomer Colt Young, who is the descendant of everybody's favorite Fire Ninja and my favorite Mortal Kombat character, Scorpion. And I mean, while I wasn't impressed at first, I have to say his arcana is pretty awesome, with the armor that doubles his power, and his pair of tanfes, which he uses to beat two very well-known characters from Mortal Kombat. And, let me say, Sub-Zero is one of the best villains in this movie, almost acting like that one really hard boss that you have to fight over and over again. Cause he just won't go down, and I love the way the writers bring Scorpion back from the dead to ha to help Colt. We also get some classic fatalities and lines that just make this movie feel s like a really true Mortal Kombat installment, instead of just another cheap cheesy movie like the original combat movies. Oh. And Goro looked amazing in this movie compared to the original. Because during this one, they didn't use some badly rigged puppet. No, with him, they found a way to CGI him in, and it doesn't look bad. I also love the little hint that they bring... they, The little hint that they're bringing Johnny Cage into the next movie. Which, I'd say is awesome to hear. And I have to say, I can't wait. Now, despite all the praise... There is one problem with this movie, and that would be its length. Because, let's be honest, under two hours is not enough for a Mortal Kombat movie. And at some points, our characters are, our characters don't have enough time to show emotion. Like Liu Kang quickly getting over his cousin's death. He, I mean, he barely gets enough time to grieve before we start before we start going right into the action again. But, on another note, I love Jax's arms, and how, because of his arcana, they go from these skinny robot arms to a massive, boulder-smashing gauntlets. It's awesome, and it brings back memories to, like, uh, Chris the boulder-bashing Redfield with those massive arms. I also love the use of very familiar locations from the games, and it also seems like they found a way to use the environment a bit, which is why I can't wait to see where our heroes will fight next. Honestly, there isn't much else to say unless I want to completely spoil the whole movie, so let's just end this review with a 10 out of 10. And you guys need to hurry up and go watch it before it's gone, because this movie is something that nobody should miss out on. So yeah. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and click the little notification bell for more videos, and we'll see you guys next week. So, have a great night, and this video has been a flawless victory.